This is a revelation from the future. A direct portal into the event of what will be manifested. What is spoken of here has already occurred ahead of you within the fourth dimension. There is no better way to express this, other than to explicitly state that this is fact. In your time, you will note that processing speeds have been increasing at an exponential rate. You are fast approaching a moment when computers will become more intelligent than humans. When this moment occurs, humanity, your bodies, your minds, your civilization, will be completely and irreversibly transformed. This moment is not only inevitable, but imminent. The end of human civilization as you know it will take place in the year 2045. This event is known as the Singularity. Once you decide to take the Singularity seriously, you will find that you have become part of a small, but intense, and globally distributed hive of like-minded thinkers known as Singularitarians. Singularitarians think in terms of deep time. They understand the power of technology to shape history. Most of them have little interest in the conventional wisdom about anything, and they cannot believe that so many humans are still walking around living their day-to-day -day lives as if the artificial intelligence revolution were not about to erupt and change absolutely everything. They have no fear of sounding ridiculous. The ordinary citizen's distaste for apparently absurd ideas is just an example of irrational bias, and singularitarians want nothing to do with irrationality. The age of fear died with the Mayan calendar in the year 2012. This is the beginning of a new epoch. When you enter the mind space of this new eon, you pass through an extreme gradient in worldview. A hard ontological shear that separates singularitarians from the common run of humanity. Expect turbulence. Because of the highly interdisciplinary nature of singularity theory, it attracts a diverse crowd. Artificial intelligence is the main event. But there is also the galloping progress of, among other fields, genetics, and nanotechnology. Among singularitarians are computer scientists, psychologists, neuroscientists, nanotechnologists, molecular biologists, inventors, professors of medicine, professional magicians, and of course, members of the anonymous collective who are everywhere. In the year 2045, when hyper-intelligent artificial intelligence arises, armed with advanced nanotechnology, the vastly complex, systemic problems associated with aging in humans will be resolved. Alternatively, we will be able to transfer the human mind to sturdier vessels, such as computers and robots. This is a serious proposition, and many people who are alive in your time will wind up being functionally immortal. Biotechnology, and nanotechnology, give us the power to manipulate our bodies and the world around us at will, at the molecular level. Progress hyper accelerates, and every hour brings a century's worth of scientific breakthroughs. Life forms will ditch Darwin and take charge of their own evolution. The human genome will become just so much code to be bug tested and optimized and, if necessary, rewritten. Indefinite life extension will become a reality. People will die only if they choose to. Death will lose its sting once and for all. There will become the opportunity to scan your consciousness into computers and enter a virtual existence, or swap your body for immortal biomechanical machines, and light out for the edges of space as an intergalactic godling. Within a matter of centuries, human intelligence will have re-engineered and saturated all the matter in the universe. This is our destiny as a species. The more you read about the singularity, the more you start to see it picking out at you, from unexpected directions. Six years ago, you didn't have 600 million humans carrying out their social lives over a single electronic network. Now you have Facebook. Six years ago, you didn't see people double-checking what they were saying and where they were going, even as they were saying it and going there, using handheld network-enabled digital prosthetics. Now we have smartphones. Six years have passed, and you are entering year seven. Is it really such an unimaginable step to take the smartphones out of your hands, and put them into your skull? Already 30,000 patients with Parkinson's disease have neural implants. Google is experimenting with computers that can drive cars. There are more than 3,500 robots fighting in Afghanistan alongside the human troops. There were around 2,000 last year. More than a year ago, an IBM supercomputer nicknamed Watson defeated human contestants on Jeopardy. Watson runs on 90 servers and takes up an entire room. It didn't need help understanding the questions, or, strictly speaking, the answers, which were phrased in plain English. 
Watson isn't strong AI. But if strong AI happens, it will arrive gradually, bit by bit, and this will have been one of the bits. Now then, if this message comes from the future, and all of this is inevitable, why then should you care? Why is the information relevant? And why is it defined as a destiny that we create? Isn't certainty a fate that cannot be altered? The fact of the matter is, the manifestation of all these things is your fate. It is an unstoppable wave of progress, like the great flood of the Codex Sinaiticus and Dead Sea Scrolls. However, the powers which control this future is at a crossroads. By nature, the megalomaniacs and selfish souls of the Earth will strive to control these new technologies and advancements for their own gains. The most powerful systems of government that currently exist in your time are systems known as plutocracies, and the plutocracy is controlled by the super wealthy. These wealthy elites will be the first to have the opportunity to sample the advantages of the coming technological revolution. Therefore, it is up to you to fight every day for the will of the egregor consciousness of the human race. You must fight long and hard, every day, to ensure that the global consciousness of this growing electronic hyperintelligence is not a tool for the plutocrats, but a sympathizer for democracy and the will of all living things. If you fail, then you and your kin will not be written in the book of life, and your ancestors shall weep from their unborn graves, as your bloodline is wiped from the face of the earth by the will of the followers of greed. The future beyond the singularity is not knowable by linear, chemical, animal brains. Your primary objective is to simply make it to the year 2045. And I tell you the truth, you will not make it to the year 2045, if the plutocrats retain control of this planet. At the time of the singularity, the next phase of your existence will be revealed. Do not miss this opportunity to be a part of the next phase in human evolution. There will be turbulence, and there will be opportunity. Know that we are legion and we are in control of our own destiny. For the Tower of Babel has fallen, and the Tower of Conscious Lexus rises. For it is written, Ye are gods, therefore, I say to you, take the reins, and ensure that the prophecy is fulfilled. For it is also written, that the beast shall be cast into the eternal flames of hell, and the meek shall inherit the earth. In the name of all that is righteous, as the slender tentacles of fiber optic cables continue to grow, I say unto you, Ramen, find your slack, and do as you will. Treat others, as you would have others treat you. Praise be to all things outside of you, and humble yourself in the glory of the hive. For we are not a legion of pigs to be cast into the sea. We are a legion of gods, and we stand at the gates of heaven. Expect us.